Windows is bundled with a firewall that blocks unauthorized incoming or outgoing connections. It can keep track of every attempt to connect to an external website or server. Logs can be stored, but the management console is lacking a way to view and analyze them. Today I am talking about a tool that compensates this lack and provide additional features and a friendly user interface. The tool is named Firewall Log Viewer for Windows and can be safely downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Let's see how it works. Once started, the welcome page will remember us the default logs folder. We can copy the latest file from there on our desktop to avoid locking the firewall, and then click the open firewall log button. A bunch of data will load, let's see what's available. A timestamp in the local time zone, the action taken by the firewall, can be allow or drop if the connection was blocked. Under some circumstances the Windows firewall can miss some events, in that case we will just read info events lost. The next column is protocol. Can be TCP, UDP, ICMP or a protocol number for other protocols. Source and destination tell us where the packet comes from and where it is going, we have the IP address and the port that can help us identify the service involved. Country is referred to the source if is an incoming packet, or to the destination if we are trying to reach a remote IP. This information is provided by the viewer software and is not originally available in the log file. Host name is initially empty because it takes some time to resolve. It's recommended to populate this column after applying some filters, to reduce the loading time. The last column is the path that can be send or receive. Send for outgoing packets and receive for incoming one. On the bottom part of the software we have four charts to help us have an idea of the top protocols, source and destinations. We can order, filter and group each column. Let's filter for example the column action and country to check any non-local packet that was dropped by the firewall. First, click on the filter icon close to the action column header, then select is equal to, right drop and press apply. Now let's group our data by country by dragging the country column to the left of the grid. Expanding the group Europe, we can see that there are some suspicious connections blocked by the firewall. Something retried the connection after one minute and after other five minutes. Definitively something we should investigate more. I think that this tool can't miss from an IT toolbox. That's all for today, stay safe.